Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is another clothing try and haul, I guess. I mean, it is. I was just, I got a candle as well, so I was like, what would this video fall under? It's a clothing try and haul. Yeah, I went a little bit ham the other day. I don't, I just feel like I've had a mental breakdown lately. I don't know. Like between Christmas and going to America for four weeks and moving house and all that sort of stuff, I feel like it's just been a really hectic couple of months. Oh my god, Hamish just got home. He's getting fucking crap out of my butthole. I'm filming! You're filming? Yes! Okay. Hello. Oh! That light's a representation of my life right now. I have a trip coming up soon, so I wanted to get some cute jammies for that. Um, and honestly, I just felt like spoiling myself. I don't know. I had like a weird brain aneurysm or something. And I just went a little bit crazy. When I was actually at the checkout, Hamish was looking at me like I was mad. Because at first he went down to like JB Hi-Fi or something. I feel like I said G, but I meant to say J. JB Hi-Fi. Um, and he was like looking for a certain cord for his computer. And then he came back up and I didn't get to pay for my stuff before. He got there, so he saw how much it was. I spent $241.70 on pajamas, underwear, and gym clothes. This is my 2018. <laughs> I just feel like laughing, like it's just a fucking joke, isn't it? Like, I don't really know what I was thinking. I don't really want to think about it. Once this goes in the bin, it doesn't exist, didn't happen. Just erased from my memory. The way that like I made myself okay with paying that was mainly because I'm just too pussy chicken shit to say anything when I get to the checkout and I realize how much something is. Like once they say that price, like that's what I'm paying. Like I, I don't, like I'm too embarrassed to say anything. Secondly, because I was like, oh, I'll just turn it into a haul. And like that, that part kind of happened while I was in the middle of shopping because like I already knew it was going to be a lot. And I was like, oh, you know what? I may as well make it a bit more. So I've got enough for a haul and then that's, that's how this all happened. Long story short, I have a cotton on body haul for you guys. Spent $250. I'm a crazy person, um, but I really love everything that I got. I feel very cute and very like glamorous in my sleeping wear now. It's all really lit um, and it helps numb the fact that I spent so much money on all this stuff. They're all really affordable, um, really cute stuff, and I just really, really like it. So I thought I would actually share a clothing haul with you guys that I bought myself. I do go a little bit bananas sometimes, so don't say that I don't spend my own money. I am going to go and just shut my head in the freezer now, um, but hopefully you guys like everything that I have to show you. Hopefully it's a great video all round. Show it to your mom, show it to your nan, your granddad, the kids, your cousins, your aunt. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. I've got some weird videos, comments, that'll be weird. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. So first up, I've got these little flowy ribbed pajama shorts. And these are in the color Rhubarb Mall. Um, and they are $20. I have my tag because I kept them so I could tell you guys the prices for once. So they have a sale on at the moment and it's 3 for $35 of their sleepwear. So instead of paying $20 just for these shorts, I got two other pajama items and the whole lot, like the three items are $35. So I think that's pretty good. Basically, they're just like a really nice ribbed, flowy, loose material. They're not tight or anything. The crotch is nice and low, so just really comfortable to wear to bed. They're really stretchy um, and they're just nice. They just feels good. Good jammy shorts. They're a little bit loose on the waist, um, so I do have to use the little tie ribbon at the front here to tie them up, even though they do have... Actually, no, they don't have an elastic. No, they do have an elastic waist. Yeah, a little bit. It's just not very tight on me. I'm guessing you're supposed to wear them like a little bit lower, but I just don't really wear my pajama shorts like that. I find them more comfortable when I kind of pull them up a little bit. And these are an extra small, but... I really like them. I've been wearing them non-stop just when I'm filming and stuff. And then I have this little bralette which I'm wearing and this one is the Broderie Angelais bralette. Um, this is in the colour cream. This is not cream, this is white. <laughs> it's not even slightly cream. Hopefully you guys can't see my freaking nipples. This, um, this bralette doesn't do a very good job of covering my nipples. I probably could have sized up because my boobs are about like a C or a D cup. Um, and this is what they kind of look like with no padding in them. But the one thing I hate about this bra is look at that. 
because the band sits so high, it makes your boob sit like a little fucking, like a little chicken fillet just folding over. It looks terrible. It's really, really cute. It just needs a little, like the tiniest, thinnest bit of padding just to like fix the shape a little bit. Cause I've got triangle boobs and it's just <sighs> nightmare. But this retails for $16.95. Is that how much this was? Huh. It's cheaper than I thought. This is what the back looks like. I love that it's nice and low because I can wear it with a low cut top um, and I think it's really cute. The only thing I just don't like is like the shape. Like my boobs look sad. They look sad. They look depressed. My boobs look like they just found out that their dog died and they're just... And plus my nipples keep kind of popping out of the little side things here. So this is not a bra that I could wear out in public, unfortunately. It's got adjustable straps. The band here is elastic, so it's really nice and stretchy. Um, and I just, I think it's really, really pretty. I really like it just for like chilling out or if I'm just like filming a YouTube video and I don't want to put like a top on, it looks like I'm wearing a top from here up and it's totally fine. Next up, I've got this really cute little suit. I love this so much. Like, oh, when I saw it, like, because they had the three for $35 PJs, I was like, I definitely have to get some PJs, especially because I have a trip coming up, which I can't tell you about just yet. But I'm very excited. Very excited for it. As you can see, I feel like frolicking like a little fairy, but going overseas again soon. And I was like, you know what, Casey? You can't be wearing your holy underwear, your holy disgusting three-year-old underwear, and your dusty as fuck PJs. Like I don't even own pajamas. Like the last pair of pajamas that I bought, I actually got them with Erin because we wanted to wear matching PJs in a video, um, which the video didn't end up going anywhere because we got too drunk and it just did not work out very well. That's the last pair of PJs that I bought that was actually like a matching kind of set. So I really don't have any cute matching set PJs. Um, so I definitely wanted to get some nice ones because I was like, if I'm gonna be around people, and I like have to see them for like a few days at a time and there's potentially, they could potentially see me in my jammies. I need to wear cute jammies and be like, oh, these old things? Stop. I just threw them on. They're just nice and easy. Plus they were so cheap, like $35 for three things. Steel City. So the shorts are the exact same style as the last ones that I showed you guys. They are pretty loose, so if you're a little bit bigger than me, um, I think they'll fit you just fine. These are a lot more stretchier because the other ones have a ribbon in them, whereas these ones actually have the material that they're made of as the drawstring, so they stretch a lot more with the elastic. These are an extra small, so I always get the smallest size I can at cotton on. And then the top is obviously the matching top. This is an extra small as well, so it is quite big on me, um, but like you don't want PJs to be tight and uncomfortable. Like I want them to be really comfy and flowy. They just have like these little fold up edges on the sleeves. Just a really comfortable cotton kind of material. Like not cotton, is it like cotton polyester? I don't know. So the shorts on their own are the Tropical Bouquet slash Petal Pink and they are $25. And then the shirt is Tropical Bouquet, Petal Pink and it's $25 as well. So each of these is $25. Um, and obviously if you get them in like the three piece kind of little promo thing that they have, you get them for 35. So it works out quite a lot cheaper. I've been sleeping in these like all week. They don't smell, they're totally fine. I don't sweat that much when I sleep. I love them. Like you can totally have a slump party and jump around. And like, it's just, it's like, hey guys, <laughs> feeling fine. Oh my God, <laughs> stop. We're such best friends. I love like the pretty big flowers. Like what are these, like irises or I don't even know, but I love like the orange and the pink. I'll show you guys the print up close cause it's just really, really cute. I just, I really love it. I also picked up this bralette as well. I'll show you guys up close cause it's really cute. I love this one. This one has padding in it, which I absolutely love because it just makes my boobs look like just a little bit nicer, especially if you have kind of triangle, funny shaped boobs. No one has like those beautiful, well, some people do. Some people are fucking blessed. They won the genetic lottery. Um, but I'm like 25 now, my boobs are starting to, losing a bit of volume up here, you know what I mean? So I've got like that triangle 
little ski slope thing going on so even though i have like a decent size compared to like the rest of me because i am so little um they just like don't sit that nicely when i wear like a bralette as you guys would have seen in the last one like it's not horrible but it's just i don't feel comfortable not wearing a bra and i love like the lace i just think it's so pretty i actually got both of these bralettes because i work with loving tan and i do like sponsored photos with them you guys know i fucking love loving tan like i've been using their tan for like three years maybe more now but i do sponsored posts with them so i always have to post like before and after photos to show like what the tan what my skin looks like before and what it looks like after i have a very like aesthetic kind of instagram so when i do my posts they want like white or pink kind of clothing in it so i got these for when i do those photos because i thought it would look really cute this is what the back looks like i think it's just so flattering and so stunning and plus it would look really cute even like as swimmers, I feel like these are really cute. Like I would totally wear these as swimmers. <laughs> but yeah, they just have a really nice elastic waist, waist band on them. Um, and then at the back, they just do up like a regular bra. And then of course you can take out the padding if you don't like it. And they do have adjustable straps as well. This one is really comfortable compared to the other one. The other one's not uncomfortable, but this one just feels more secure and I just, I feel like I look like I have fake boobies when I wear this one. And this is the Candace Bralette in the shade Petal Pink and it is $25 on its own. So it's definitely a little bit more up there in price. Um, I'm real stingy. I don't like spending my money. So this, this haul was a big old deal for me. I'm just going to put that out there now. Hamish was looking at me like I was fucking crazy. So this is like the bougiest item that I got. God damn it, I can't get it tied up. I'm not usually a robe kind of wearer, but I was like, you know what? I'm getting a fucking robe. I've never really had one before, like I have, but I just like haven't worn them. So I just, I wanted like a cute little kimono robe type thing to wear when I'm filming. Like if I want to do a really cute get ready with you guys in the morning and I want it to actually, I feel like it's just really cute to like wear my robe. Like if I want to do casual videos or if I just want to do like a quick get ready with me um, and I don't want like my boobs out and stuff. I don't know, you know what I mean? It does have like a little tie up thing. I'll show you again. Um, so basically the inside of the rope connects with the outside. So obviously you don't have any like accidental slips because I find when robes don't really have that, they can just kind of come apart just here and everything comes out. So not what you want. And then it's just like a little tie around waist and this is a short one as well. So you guys can see in the mirror that it's obviously quite long on me, um, which is why I didn't get one of like the longer robes, which are more like a seven eighths kind of length, where this is like a three quarters above the knee. I don't know what I'm saying right now. It's just like this really gorgeous satin material. It's got these gorgeous little flowers all over it. It's very pretty, very venom venom <laughs> feminine. Oh, I just love it. I love this color. They had other colors as well, like in this same style. Um, I believe they had yeah, I'm gonna pull off my tags. I believe they had this same style in like a salmon -y pink kind of color, kind of similar to this piece that I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Oh my god, I just dropped something. They had a white one as well. I think they might have had black, but I'm not sure. Um, but I just really love like a dark kind of navy blue with blonde hair. I just thought the navy blue was, I don't know, just a little bit more me. It's not like too much pink. Like I love pink. But with a robe, I just kind of wanted it to be classy. This is a small slash medium. And this is the kimono gown in the shade Midnight Wildflower. And this retails for $25. So I think $25 for a robe is really freaking good. I didn't even realize it was that much. Fucking bargain. It's like if you just want to quickly like, jump out of bed in the morning and have a coffee before you really start your day. Or if you have a shower and you just want to like lounge about for a little bit afterwards and not get dressed. I feel like that's what these robes are really great for. Next up, I've got this really cute little gym set. I am obsessed with this. I've been wearing it to the gym all week. The bra is a little bit tight, so it kind of like pushes my stomach out a little bit. Um, so this is like an extra small. Yeah, both of these are an extra small. I probably could have sized up in the top just because I do have like a little bit of a bustier situation going on compared to, I think, what companies think an extra small is. You know what I mean? They're still not really there yet with like the whole sizing thing, especially when it comes into considering someone who is very petite but has like a size D or C boobs. This would probably fit me better as well if I took out the padding that's in the cups, but I personally just like to have a little bit of padding because otherwise I feel like I look really flat chested having like a shirt like this on because it kind of squashes them in and I just feel like it shapes them a little bit better. Like, I don't know, I just like a bit of padding. I think next time I get some gym stuff, I'm gonna try it on first because I didn't try any of this stuff on because I hate trying stuff on. 
What are my lashes doing? I really, really love this. The top is really stretchy. It's just like this really nice kind of mild sort of fabric, but it's obviously this gorgeous kind of coral. Really stretchy. It's got all these cute little whole sort of mesh detailing in there. And then the pants have like a matching waistband just here. I love how high rise they are because it kind of sucks everything in. And I feel comfortable going to the gym with the crop top on and the matching um, tights because it's like high enough where you're not showing too much skin, but you still look kind of cute. Whereas before when I was wearing my other tights, they kind of came down to here and I just did not feel comfortable and I would always just wear a long singlet. They are very, very stretchy, which I absolutely love. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Obviously, I can't really show you too much, but I will say they are not squat proof. I'm not sure if you guys can see my butt, but they are... They're not even slightly squat proof. I have black underwear on right now. If I was to go to the gym and squat with these on, you're gonna see everything. You're gonna see my actual ass g-string line so what i do is i just wear a pair of nude underwear i actually have some that i got from cotton on as well i'll show you guys them really quickly i'm not going to try these on because they're underwear and that's a bit weird just got like an assortment of g-strings they had five for 35 dollars so you could get five pairs of underwear 35 dollars and you could pick any ones you wanted so i just got like different workout kind of g-strings um and i just got like one cute little lacy pair of undies. But I've just been wearing these nude ones to the gym, not this exact pair. Ew, that would be gross if I showed that. Because they don't have any seam lines, so when I do bend over and do my squats, they're kind of the same color as my butt, and it doesn't look as bad. You could totally still see my crack, but I just make sure I don't really face anyone. I usually just go off in a corner on my own, do my thing, make sure I'm facing the wall so no one no one can see. I'm strategic, right? Really love these leggings. They're so comfy. I think if you're looking for like casual leisure wear sort of leggings and not for the gym, they're great. Or if you just want them for like the treadmill or just like when you're doing like upper body, totally great. But just be aware when you are doing lower body, you'll see your ass. These are the seven eighths tights as well. Um, so obviously on me, they look quite long, but that's why I got these because I wanted a pair of long tights but I don't want to get like the actual full length ones because they'll just be way too long. Whereas these ones come up to like the proper length where a legging should come up to. Um, but they do also have Capri tights um, and just like all different ones and stuff like that. And they've got some really cool styles there. I think they're really flattering on my bum as well because usually my leggings kind of like push it in. I feel like these ones kind of just like hold it nicely. Um, they're obviously not like shaping ones, so they're not going to do like wonders and change your bum into something that it's not But I feel like they just kind of show it for what it actually is and it doesn't they're not unflattering is what I'm trying to say This top is the strappy seam free crop and this is in the shade melon mall and it was $30 which I think it's pretty good for workout stuff and then the leggings are the washed black sports 7 slash 8 tight in the shade black slash melon mall and these were forty dollars. Oh I didn't even tell you guys these leggings have like um I don't know if you can see they have like little holes on the back like just cute little breathable mesh bits. And then last but not least I just have these little shorts. I got these because I only have one pair of gym shorts that are pretty similar to these. They are a little bit loose on my waist just here as you can see like the elastic isn't tight um they're literally just being held up by the drawstring because i think you're supposed to wear them a little bit lower which i just don't really like and because i'm a bit shorter it just means the crotch goes down further and i just don't really love it so they're just like a little windbreaker kind of material they do have a little bit of stretch to them so you can still do like weights and things while wearing these but i mainly wear these when i'm just going on like the stairmaster or on the treadmill or i'm doing upper body However, I did wear them when I was doing legs the other day and it was totally fine. Like I said, I usually just face my ass away from people so they can't see them. And then they have like little legging booty kind of underwear underneath them. So I really like that because I feel like my butt jiggle is kind of controlled a bit more. And I can't remember the name of these shorts because I've worn them to the gym and I don't know. I don't know where the tag is, but... I think it says move joggers or something like that they're obviously black and i think they were 25 dollars extra small that's the only thing that i can find on here that i haven't already mentioned to you guys oh and i got a candle as well just before we go um oh what my candle was 10 bucks was it on sale ah my candle was meant to be 15 dollars yeah 15 dollars it says on here but i only paid 10. 
I wonder why. It smells emo amazing. That's what it looks like. The box is like adorable. Um, and I got this one because it's in a little gold canister and I just thought it would look so cute, like mixed in with all the other gold stuff in my background for my YouTube videos. And this one is fresh grapefruit scented and it's a soy wax candle. And I think it's got 48 hours burning time. So pretty good for 10 bucks. Basically everything I got. That's it for this haul. Bitch. All right, guys, that's everything for this video. So hopefully you really liked this pajamas try on haul. Um, if you guys like seeing me haul pajamas or gym clothes, you know, just let me know because I will gladly go back to Cotton On and buy some more. I tell you now, there's no limit. I will buy all of the gym in pajamas and underwear. If you did like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notifications and that way you guys can see when I'm uploading. Um, I've got some really cool Valentine's Day tutorials planned for you guys. We're going to do a regular Valentine's Day one and an anti-Valentine's Day one. So they're going to be sick. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that. And I will see you guys in my next video. I've got a trip coming up soon, which I'm very excited about. Um, hey, Mish. Jesus. Hey, Mish. Hey, Mish. So first up, uh, first, <laughs> these are an extra small, they're the seamless essential, no, that's a g-string, what the fuck? How do you get these to stay up? Just hold it for 10 minutes. <laughs> this is, oh my god, I need to get my tags. <sighs> hold on a minute, please. I think I just get my receipt, actually. Nope, that does not help. I'll be up in the gym just working on my business and my witness. Hit this point on my back and they be learning down the block just in what, what I got. So delicious. It's hard, huh? I went a little bit ham the other day. What's with my ponytail? It's like on the wrong side of my head. My head is just not the right shape. Do I have like a weirdly broken head or something? Like why is it so hard for me to do up this ponytail? How am I possibly not getting this in the middle? Something's going wrong here. That doesn't look right. My face is wonky compared to my head. My face and my head aren't aligned. 